Hey guys, it's Leo Stargazer. I'm here today with our astrological guide to the week. This is for the week of November 12th through November 18th, 2023. And this week is very consequential and maybe a little bit intense. So now I'll give a quick rundown of the week and a little summary of what I'm seeing. So this week is going to bring new and intense beginnings combined with a dreamy yet searing clarity. I really feel like the intentions we set to honor this week's new moon in Scorpio will be lit up by this Mars Kazemi on Friday. The intentions that we set for that new moon should be grounded with an insistence on liberation. And as we gain vibrant clarity through this Sun-Mars conjunction, we should take action on what we hear from deep inside. Unique and intuitive, but also fiery and active passion are going to help us stay protected, but also intensely directional. They're also going to guide us towards activating our deepest and maybe really intense <laughs> desires and dreams. If all of that sounds like a lot, it's because it is. We cannot shrink from this moment or hide from it. So let's honor Mars and take action this week. Okay, so with all of that said, let's look at what the astrology looks like. Let's engage with what potentially each of these specific moments that I'm focusing on this week could bring for us. So like I mentioned, first we have a new moon in Scorpio. That new moon is going to be really, really close to an opposition of Uranus in Taurus. So like I said, this new moon in Scorpio is already going to be pretty intense, but then adding this opposition to Uranus brings in a new layer and a different dynamic, but also a certain type of intensity. This opposition isn't exact, but the sun and the moon will both make an opposition to Uranus around the time of the new moon, which is a conjunction between the moon and the sun. Our intentions that we set for this new moon, and we really should set intentions, need to be based around liberation. Like I said before, Uranus wants us to be free. Uranus wants us to be rebellious. Uranus wants us to be revolutionary. Uranus in Taurus wants to remind us of stability as well, but the stability that can be gained when we turn everything upside down or when everything is turned upside down for us. At least when we get a different kind of perspective and think about something in a unique way. Well, because this new moon in Scorpio is all about new beginnings, because this is the first new moon in Scorpio we've had in a little while that isn't an eclipse, we are really focusing on the ending of one era, but the really the beginning of a new era for us. Since all of this is taking place in Scorpio, there is an element of super emotional intensity, and that's great. If we can combine that or use that as a guide towards some kind of liberation to unlock or at least intend to unlock some form of freedom for ourselves and then potentially for others, I think that's going to be really key. Depending on what Uranus has meant for you while it's been in Taurus, I think that's something that you should focus on. Look back and see what this transit has meant for you so far and use that to formulate a an intention on this new moon in honor of this new moon i keep harping on this intention setting because i think for the rest of the week the importance of having locked into an intention will become clear when we have the sun and mars making an opposition later in the week, giving us the Kazemi. But before that, they will make a trine. Each of those planets will make a trine to Neptune in Pisces. So while I am really focused on, of course, this new moon and this Kazemi, I do think that this trine with Neptune that the sun and Mars will make brings us a sense of dreaminess, certainly, <laughs> but an attachment to and an insistence on an engagement with the intuition. I think having Mars and the sun interact with Neptune in this way 
especially Neptune and Pisces, right before they meet up, I think is really key. I think without this trying to Neptune, there may have been with this Mars, because he meet way too much fire, way too much aggression, um, and way too much passionate intensity. Um, and sometimes that could be good too, but we have this trying with Neptune. And I think, again, like similarly to how you were thinking about Uranus and Taurus for you, I want you to really also think about what Neptune and Pisces has meant for you. What house do you have in Neptune? What house do you have in Taurus? These are going to be really important things. Certainly this week, what house is Scorpio in? Because all of this stuff, so much of this stuff is rooted from and grounded in and based in Scorpio. We're also finishing up Scorpio season in a little bit. We have a little bit left, about a couple weeks-ish left of Scorpio season. So this is still a Scorpio moment, and we really need to really focus on that part of our chart. However, or in light of that, and in light of this trine to Neptune, after the Sun and Mars make this trine to Neptune and Pisces, they will meet up and have a conjunction, giving us the Mars Kazemi in Scorpio. So I want to focus on that now. We made our intentions. We set our intentions for the new moon. Great. We understood how that meant freedom through Uranus and Taurus. That's great. So then, though, on Friday, we have this Sun and Mars conjunction, which gives us the Mars Kazemi that happens in Scorpio. That trying to Neptune happens that same day. So it is really, really important. Um, and I want us to keep that in our minds. So we'll move that over here while we focus really intensely on this conjunction just for now. I think that this Kazemi, this Mars Kazemi, like I said, in combination with this trine to Neptune, is going to bring about some really deep, intuitive, almost mystical kind of stuff. Except it's going to have this intense, searing, fiery clarity. This Mars Kazemi is going to provide us clarity. It's going to help us understand where we take action, how we take action. Once Mars moves through the sun, the clarity that it'll have will be really, really vibrant, but it'll also be almost scaldingly clear. <laughs> um, there will be no room, like I said earlier, to shrink away from this moment. There will be no escape. Um, we will be fully in the flames, so to speak. Of, of clarity. And, and I think that's why I mentioned that the intention that we set on this new moon is going to be so, so important. The directionality of that intention, how it comes to fruition, or at least how we begin and how the, how we begin to manifest that intention. The clarity that this Kazemi will bring will be so essential, so crucial, and so vibrant that it could get a little intense. It's all in Scorpio, remember. <laughs> So because this week is so heavily weighted in Scorpio, I think the reason I'm focusing so much on these trines to Neptune is because I think this dreaminess, this water element coming in is going to be super important for balance. Remember, last week, Venus entered Libra, bringing us a lot of beautiful, stable balance. So I think that, that you know, think about Venus and Libra a little bit here too, because we're going to need that. You're going to need some balance, and Neptune certainly bringing that in to all of this really emotional, fiery intensity. And also don't forget that new moon was almost in an opposition to Uranus, meaning that the sun also made that opposition. So there's oppositions to Uranus. We just had Mars opposite Uranus last week. So we're really still dealing with some of that towards the beginning of this week. So there's a lot of really intense stuff about liberation and freeing yourself. And, and with this new moon setting intense emotional intentions and and then bringing in Neptune's dreams. I mean, there is a lot happening. And then to have on Friday, this Mars Kazemi, there is this sense that all of these themes are so vibrant, so lit up, so full of intense passion that we need to make sure that we are looking inward as well. Maybe that will also be really intense. Maybe it's Neptune and Pisces combined with Mars and Scorpio. There, maybe there's this idea that that is really intense. Even the inward look is really intense. But I do think that as long as we have a really solid intention set for the new moon in Scorpio, that whatever this Kazemi turns out to mean for us, and however it is connected to this trine to Neptune and to Uranus, I think that will be made a lot more clear if our intention is set solid. I also want to say, too, that I think that 
to set the intention at the beginning of the week. Getting this moon at the this new moon at the beginning of the week is so awesome because we really can use that to set these goals, like I'm saying, um, so that the clarity can be a lot more clear. Because when the, when our intentions are clear and when we get super clear advice or guidance on some of these more intense, deeper things, we can manifest what we want to in a really profound way. And I think that there's a lot of profundity in all of this stuff. There's a lot of profound, there's a really profound nature to all of this. There's also, like I said, so much passion and such a call for action that I think it it can maybe get overwhelming. So let's remember to keep this balance that Venus in Libra is giving us because that is also going to be super, super crucial. It's going to be essential. The fact that we have Venus in Libra throughout all of this stuff, throughout all of this intense, emotional, really active, super passionate, vibrant, (laughs) deep dives and all of this. I mean, I'm laughing, but it is, there is so much this week. Balancing with Venus in a sign that she rules, using her and Libra to help balance all of this Scorpio intensity using Neptune's intuitive, mystical, dreamy water approach is also key. That may actually be the balance that Venus hints to. Regardless, we really, really need to utilize not only this fire and passion that this Mars Kazemi is going to bring, but Neptune's water and Libra's airiness to understand passion from all perspectives if we can do all of that if we can combine all of those things if we can also remember that scorpio is a water sign too so there is also the potentiality for a balance there it's really intense water but you know it's still water um the fact that we have this really fiery kazemi in this water sign trine neptune in a water sign i think is also really important regardless of all of that we can get really deep into the weeds really deep into the water um but i think all in all to bring back in this moon to bring back in uranus and Taurus, just to wrap things up. If we look at all of the archetypes of the week, I think the really clear thing is, once again and finally, set your intentions on this new moon in the most intense, passionate way that you can. Deep and emotional. Let Mars and the Sun's trying to Neptune remind you of your dreams, tap you into your deepest sense of self. Let the Mars Kazemi not only light up these intentions, but provide such a searing clarity, such a bright spotlight on your intentions that there is no question of the direction you can take to liberate yourself with the help of Uranus and balance everything out with the beauty of Venus in Libra. Liberation, balance, intense emotions, Dreams, intuition, fire and water all unite this week to help you set a goal for the future, to keep that goal clear and protected. It's intense. There's a lot happening this week, guys, but let's use this time and let's honor Mars by taking action this week, but use everything else to keep you balanced. I really hope you do. I hope that this new moon is regenerative for you. I hope that it helps you begin a new beginning. And I hope you set a really beautiful intention. I hope that this Kazemi at the end of the week is really active and vibrant and passionate for you. I hope it provides tons of clarity about how to manifest your new intentions. And I hope that you're able to keep a balance with all of this so that you can be as free as you possibly can be. I'm sending you tons of love. I'm sending you tons of vibrancy. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, vibrant, exciting, passionate, deep week. I'll be right there with you. I will see you next week.